Hey folks, so the idea today is to show you the the pocket wheels that I designed. Um, I already installed this on, on, on my my sporty. They're inside. It's hard to see what's going on. Everything is black. Uh, I 3D printed all these parts in. Uh, in black nylon to make it stronger so it's harder to see but basically this is um, R60 standard knuckle which a part that I designed which allows you to put uh, weight hangers so basically before I used to have this uh, knuckle weight instead uh, that uses um, this standard axial knuckle ho holder or, or knuckle mount um, with uh, weights in here so this was working okay uh, but then one of the folks from the uh, from the club gave me the idea to it was Chris I think gave me the idea to why not use like make a housing to do the same thing with standard uh, axial knuckles and I thought it was a good idea because like the lower you can put weight the better and this knuckle yeah, I mean this weight is really low already right but but if you could make it lower if you remove all this weight and put it down here so I said uh, I thought I'll give it a try so just to show you guys a bit this is a standard R60 uh, knuckle right uh, so I installed the right side I have not installed the left side if you see here on the left side I still have the old uh, bronze weight with hangers inside this one I changed already. I'm going to change the other one now. I'm going to show you guys how I change it. So I just cut this off. Uh, these two pieces that came out on this side in the standard R60 knuckle, I think, were used by the XR10 model that had the steering link behind the axle. That's a whole different rig. So we don't need them. So we'll just cut them. And then I made this piece that. Uh, where this thing fits in right and then you have two holes there where you can mount uh, knuckle weights uh, I mean just wheel weights I print this part since then I'm losing all the weight that's in the knuckle because basically these two pieces don't weight anything this one weights a lot right so I want to try to get something closer to the weight that I used to have in the in the wheel but lower so I basically print this uh, this piece that you know allows me to have more weights there and just to give you guys an idea uh, let me see if I can show you real quick uh, how much weight are we talking about So here's uh, gonna, be, gonna be waiting this stuff here. This is a normal kitchen thing to just measure weight and stuff. So we'll start there. It's on os. I'm gonna change it to grams. I just think it's easier. It says zero. So if you put this thing alone. It weighed 109 grams. That's about uh, 3.9 oz. So yeah, almost 110 grams with the plastic. Now, if you put these pieces here, they went they weigh 10 grams. So I basically lost 90 grams. I want to put lower. 
So here's where this guy comes in. So now I have 118 there. So I'm matching this weight without weights, basically. And all the weights are down there. So I'm going to add a few more because I, I used to have this thing full of weights here. So I, all, overall, this thing was weighing like 200 grams, I would say. Though I don't know if I want so much so much weight though now I want less I'm trying to put my sporty on a diet um, and now that the weight is gonna be lower it's not gonna be here and the knuckle is gonna be way lower um, yeah probably I don't need it but if I need it I'll, I'll just need to put more more knuckle weights in there so that's that's what I did in this one already. And you guys can see that basically this thing is inside the wheel so the these weights are about this distance you're using some of these wheels inside this wheel we have one of these I have one of these and then this thing goes right there so the weight is really low. Uh, I think on on this one I put more of these. I put like one here, one here, one here. So three more, three more than this, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I added ten uh, tungsten uh, weights on this one. So I'll probably do the same here. Uh, and this one is gonna be the one that goes on the left side. The other thing that I did is uh, this wheel here, the previous one, has an spacer there. Do you see that red printed part? It's in a spacer to get some offset on the wheel hub. So I so the idea was it was needed because otherwise the link point here wouldn't clear the, the, the tire and would rub the tire very badly. So I had to add some spacer to push uh, away the, the, the steering mount. Now, what I want is to have it as close to the axle as possible. So I, want to, I, I wanted to remove that, uh, that spacer there. So the so like so the the wheel the the whole wheel is gonna be closer to the chassis and that's gonna make my overall width like smaller. I'm at 11 inches right now, um, so I think I'm gonna be able to reduce maybe half inch and get it to 10.5. So I did it here already in this one on the on the on the left side. There's no spacer here, but to make that possible I had to create a new um, a new uh, mounting arm for the steering link I made it double also so I can mount the the servo steering in, in the rear we'll see I mean I just wanted the option I don't know if I'm gonna use it um, and the final piece is like this so this goes we have here the um, the part that would allow us to mount a weight on the axial knuckle. This goes like this, right? And then, um, if you see here, the, the mounting point of the standard axial knuckle is, is down here. What we did with this uh, new part is that you rise the mounting point all, all the way up and that's going to help you know clearing the the steering link and you know avoiding it to 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 touch the the axle so it's going to allow a ton more uh, steering and then this one is going to go right here like this so if you see the usually the the link mounting point would be at this distance. So let me, it would be like this, at this distance right here. It's gonna be way closer to the tire. So I put it far away at this distance. It's about um, probably 
8 millimeters away, 6 to 8 millimeters away. So now the, the, the tire, even if you have it fully without any spacer and all the way in, uh, the tire clears perfectly. So the, this link pump clears the, the tire perfectly. Uh, no problem. So I want to do the same thing here. Now the, the other problem that I'm having is that since I'm doing that, let me see if I can leave this here. If you guys can see the the um, the wheels are open now, right? And that's because uh, now that this tire, this whole wheel is closer, the link is too long, it's too wide, so it's keeping the, the tires open like that instead of being straight. I'll need to change the steering link, but you know, that's that's going to be a small price for the benefit to have a, a narrower rig on the front so you can pass uh, gates easier. So now what I'm going to do is going to um, disassemble this uh, this wheel and put the new one with the new knuckle and um, I'll show you guys how, how it's supposed to be how it's to, supposed to be mounted so first of all we're going to remove that the weight should come off. There we are. So you see there's the uh, wheel hub. It's very short. It's the shortest that you can get I think. And that red thing is the spacer that I was telling you guys about. So I'll remove that. So the so the wheel will go into the axle as much as possible, and this is the the weight. So I'll need to disassemble this whole thing because, uh, by the way, uh, this wheel that I have here was printed on PEG, just the same as, as this one. This is what's inside, right? Uh, this is the one that I removed on the on the other side of the of the the other tire, the other wheel, and. Uh, I basically reprinted them in in uh, black nylon, which is incredibly strong. Uh, I tried to break it, I, I couldn't. Uh, the thing is super strong. So if you guys gonna do this, uh, printing in in PG probably okay-ish. Printing in PLA, PLA. Not recommended at all. Um, if you want to send these things in to shape away, well, that's going to be strong as hell. Probably stronger than the nylon that I, that I print. So um, that's a good alternative. But if you can print in ABS, ASA, ASA or nylon, or ni nylon car carbon fiber, probably not needed at that point, but nylon, ABS, ASA, all those filaments are going to be super strong um, this wheel is there are two options to this side this is a glue on so I make it to make it thinner because I could have you know the same thing that I have here which is um, a bedlock but it's too wide it's because of the plastic you need to be uh, thick so you can screw in um, so if you make it glue on on the other side it's gonna be way thinner so this is you know, I have another video where, where I'm showing this, so you guys can look at that. Um, but yeah, printing in nylon is the way to go, I would say. Uh, let me fix the camera. So, um, so here is the spacer I was telling you guys about that I'm going to remove. 
this is four millimeter spacer so it's quite a bit and this one is the I think the smaller wheel hub that you can find so the wheel face is gonna be as close to the axle as possible um, I need to disassemble this thing too and um, this tire By the way, I also have this face, uh, this wheel face, uh, available in my in my design repository. Um, you can definitely three D print this, but you will need to three D print it on a on a very strong uh, filament. PEG would not work because it won't hold the bed lock uh, well enough, unless you print like a flat full circle maybe that would work I was able to get this from Dan guy uh, he he made me the favor to cut them on carbon fever uh, that guy is awesome he actually figured out a few flaws on my design helped me to fix them so thanks to Dan guy for this these are amazing strong as hell so this would be the perfect match I would say like this, mix it with nylon, it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be super strong. So now we have, you know, we need to get this out. And we can get, get the weight hangers. Well, we had eight weight hangers here. Um, so I'll need to remove these and add more here. Base, I think three more would do. I would put a bit more, I'm going to put one forward, so having a bit more bias, and try that out. I don't know how it's going to work. Yeah, well, I'm going to do that. Now, the tricky part is this uh, wheel, this, this tire is glue on the other side, right? Because I told you guys I, I wanted to use glue on this side because it's going to be, make it thinner. So it's going to clear that uh, link lamp. So I'll need to take it off. Um, I'll probably just, uh, I'll just do it quick for you guys. All right, so I was able to remove the I can take this off. This is the old one. This is a PG printed. Um, now we're gonna have in the um, printed, printed in nylon, which is significantly stronger, as I explained before. Before doing that, since this weight hanger is too big. I can't install it before if, if I, I need to put it in right away because if I um, you know put this together put the wheel together this one there's no way to fit it in anymore so just need to do that before and then w once you have it in if you want to remove or add more um, weight holders you can just push it up and you know do it through or you can take it apart I mean uh, there's no easy, uh, super easy way to do this. Uh, so now I need to remove a few of, a few of these um, uh, weights. I think I need it. I said I needed three of them. Yeah. So. I'm gonna have one here. So I'll probably uh, usually what I do to get these things get uh, thin in there, and you know at the same time making sure that they don't move. I mean they 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 fit very tight already. But what I do is I put a 
um, a drop of super glue inside, just a little drop. And that way they will go in and then once they're in they will um, you know stick to it. They won't go anywhere. Just in case. But I don't think it's needed, but you know, because the wheel itself is gonna be taking care of having that thing there. Uh, they, they feel they fit really tight in, in here, so I don't think they're gonna. There's, there's any way that they can go out, but but you know, you don't want anything rubbing your your wheel. You want the you want the wheel, uh, you know, spinning as free as possible. Uh, so, oh, so, I don't know, just a bit of safety. Now this is ready. Um, we can also wait how much is gonna it's gonna be. So if I put this weight plus the knuckle plus. The steering link. Uh, what else? Well, I'll, I'll put some screws to hold the. Probably, shit. Probably nothing. This is not gonna be. It's not gonna make a huge change, of course. Uh, yeah, we're we're talking about uh, hundred and hundred and sixty. 168 grams per tire, which is 5.9 oz, so almost 6 oz per tire, per yeah per wheel. So it's, oh, so that's gonna make 12 12 oz total up front. Uh, extra weight. If we remove this. Because maybe this doesn't count like the. I think the at the end of the day this is gonna be the added weight, right? Like all the knuckles weight something. So five point five point four. So it's gonna be ten point eight os or uh, hundred and fifty grams, which in total is gonna make three hundred grams up front. Which is quite a quite a lot. It's gonna be quite low too, so should be should be enough. I don't think I need more. I'm gonna start with that. If I feel the the need to add more, I might do that. I might do that. Um, add more in the you know remaining space, but I think that should be enough. So now I'm gonna put this wheel together. This is plastic, you don't need to tie it too much. Just just enough so you don't break the plastic inside. There you go. Um, okay. So now this is ready. Now we need to put it inside the tire. I don't remember which side was going behind. I think this side. Oh, by the way, I guess everyone knows this, but you know, I cut the this little this bed log on all, most tires, like uh, Rovers or Proline. Ibex, so all these tires come with a bigger bed lock here, so I just cut it to make it thinner, so I don't need to press it too much. Um, yeah, yes, so some little little note there. So now we're gonna put this thing inside. So 
have big pocket wheels, so uh, makes it a bit harder to get the thing in. So now I'm gonna make sure that the foam is well positioned. logging one side the other side we need to glue so we're gonna do that Just making sure this thing is well aligned I don't want to go too tight here because um, I don't want to Again, uh, break the. Oh man, I'm having a hard time getting to the hole. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to uh, break the 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 plastic when I'm going in. Yeah, if, it, it, it's strong enough, but you know, strong enough to hold the. Uh, the um, the bed block, but if you go too hard, you might break it. So I think you just need to be careful. Like going gentle. And you know the other thing that I do is I, I put the finger in the other side to see if the if the screw is reaching the limit this is getting to the other side like in the in the inside you can see there there's the screw so you don't want to go too far out uh, these screws are those exact long to uh, go in and just barely be in the other side so yeah that should be it that should be it I'm just checking that all the screws went in at the same distance, more or less. Um, some of them might push a bit of plastic out. Um, and usually you, you would need to, you know, clean that up. So it won't... Um, so then you don't want that thing that's coming out rubbing the the weight yeah that should make it this thing is pretty this thing is not gonna go anywhere so this is good and the last step is to glue the the tire this bed here so I usually just do you know four little four spot so instead of glowing the the whole tire all around I just glue you know here 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 and here like four spots uh, and that's it just a little bit of glue that's gonna give me more than enough of uh, you know strength to hold the tire and at the same time if in future I want to change the tire or anything like that uh, or I want to remove it because you know I want to try something new or whatever uh, I'm gonna be able to remove it easily as I did it before with a little um, hobby knife I will be able to cut a bit the barely the the bed on the wheel bed and and just remove that so that's one spot glued so I glue it here and I'm gonna glue it down here It's important not to put a ton of glue. If you put just a bit, the thing uh, 
stick to the bed like instantly. You, if you put too much, it, you need to wait a bit because it's too much glue inside, so stick a bit more to dry. So just just a bit, and, and that's perfect. You just need to hold it for a second there. Oh, there it is. So I have it here and here, and I'm gonna put it here. Put a bit too much here, so I'm oh, waiting for the thing to dry. That's the problem when you put too much, it takes a bit longer to dry. There it is. Now the last spot. Sometimes a bit of blowing helps. <laughs> Still excess of glue, put too much. Stick into my fingers a bit. By the way, if you want to make this wheel even thinner, uh, you can use the glue on uh, side, on both sides. So this is bed lock, this is glue on, right? So you can use glue on on both sides. It's going to make it thinner. So the face of the wheel is going to be closer to the wheel, so it's going to make a thinner wheel overall. Um, I think I showed it in a different video of this wheel. Right, just like this is 20, 20 millimeters. Um, so, and I think that's like almost um, three quarter of an inch. So it's, it's it's thin already, but if you if you count the bed, like that's adds quite a bit. That's five, five millimeters more, and that's an inch. That's an inch wide. Um, so yeah, if you want them thinner, you can use more glue on. Otherwise, due to the fact that you need some space to, you know, uh, put the put the bed lock uh, screws, then you yeah, it's gonna be problematic. You, you can't really do it. Okay, so now uh, we're almost done. So we need to add this thing. I change it. Uh, I don't need. Uh, I need shorter screws now because I used to have this spacer. I'm taking, getting, rid, getting rid of that spacer. So we'll see if I have a few shorter uh, screws here. You know, th this is the cemetery of screws. Uh, just a second, folks. I have more here. Okay. So here we are. Three screws. I'll just put three. We don't really need any more. We're not. By the way, this whole setup is good for crawlers. Good for you know anything that um, anything that's. Uh, like a uh, comp crawler only kind of rig like a uh, sporty uh uh you know uh motor on axle kind of uh rig if you're trying to do this in a short course short course rig or um u4rc rig and that's not gonna work you're gonna 
you're gonna blow this whole thing apart very quickly this is definitely not built for that um, it might seem obvious to some people but uh, not for everyone so I just wanted to give that disclaimer before someone tries to do that I don't want to tie this extremely strong, just good enough. It feels firm because it's aluminium. Well, there it is, ready to go. Strong wheel now. It goes till that point. You can't press it more because then you hit the internal wheel. And the weight is all in there, very low. So now we need to get rid of now the fun part, getting rid of this uh, knuckle weight. So let's use let's make some use of these things. Um, yeah, so these are some eBay knuckles, nothing fancy, cheap stuff. Um, probably good things to start if you want to start with something cheap probably a good option you, I don't think you can compare them to uh, to something like the look stuff but, but they are decent they hold up a while for me um, and they look in good shape oh the thing is a mess I'm gonna take the chance to clean it a bit oh the thing is loose too I need to I'm gonna take the chance to press it a bit I need to put some uh, glue to lock the screw. I have a internal aluminum uh, tube in there, so the thing get loose if I don't add uh, locking glue. I haven't, I haven't done that, so I need, I need to do that. Okay, last part to remove the knuckle, the old knuckle. There it is, gone. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna clean this is a bit. I need that, um, that bearing. I'm gonna reuse right that bearing, so I'm gonna take it off. I think it's in pretty good shape to be honest. Um, okay, so now the fun part getting used the R60 standard knuckle. We're gonna add this uh, bearing there. We need another bearing here. So, where are my bearings? Give me one second, guys. Uh, you know. You know, always need to have one of these bags full of bearings because you never know when you're gonna need them. Um, okay, there it is. Oh, actually, we have uh, better ones here. I think this one should do. There you go. And now, moment of truth. Oh, I need a couple things more. Um, I need uh, these two 
uh, standard screws to get this thing out of it. And I need some a couple of washers that I have around here. Okay, these washers are, should be good. These are some old washers that I have uh, from a drift kit that I used to have, drifting rig that I sold right away. It was not my thing. If it can do rocks or mud, it's not my thing. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put this in. Sorry if the video is too long, too boring. <laughs> Feel free to, you know, go forward to the part that you wanna know about. Um, yep, yeah. okay. So now, what's going on? Oh, the thing is a bit dirty. Oh, is this, is this different? Wait. Uh, let me see. What about this one? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was using the wrong beer. Okay, so there we are. the a little spacer here and then this thing probably uh, I'll need to add uh, again a uh, lock glue because this is an aluminium uh, an accommod but did all right so now i need to do the same thing at the bottom so one of these washers now these little washers are too small for my fingers go there we go okay oh where's the washer oh damn oh, damn it damn it it felt so I'm just gonna turn this rig upside down just impatient here Okay, there's the, there's the washer. Now this thing. That's screw. There's a cap on top. Hmm, it's not going smoothly. I need to find a good spot. Good enough. Well, turning the rig again. Now, 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 now. Um, now that the knuckles mounted, I haven't like these screws there go all the way down and hook to the knuckles so that will secure the thing in place it's, it's very steady because it's kind of a very tight fit 
but you need some kind of long screws so this will go all the way there and the mounting the 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 link mounting arm goes here so you need two screws that are long so it will grab the whole thing you can see that the screw is right there so it came all the way down went through the R60 knuckle and secure the whole thing I'm gonna put two of these and you need to do this after mounting the, the knuckle because if you see since this um, I mean in this case the um, steering mount that I'm using is going further inside right so we can get this away from the from the wheel and the tire as I explained in the beginning so that's going over the knuckle um, mounting point there so you need to mount it first otherwise you won't be able to mount it uh, with this on because you don't have a way to put that screw And then I'm gonna just, you know, oh, wait, put the wrong screw. This is a shorter screw that I had laying around. Pick it up by mistake. This is it. And then I'm gonna just put a short one I'm just gonna put a, a one of these uh, the other side so it will hold that side there we go this feels really sturdy and you can see how much so the this thing the link mount is higher it won't interfere with the axle so you it's gonna have a uh, quite a bit of steering uh, I mean there's there's so much steering you can do in with these CVDs right at some point they will block they will get blocked but yeah you can then you will need we will need to you know uh, adjust the the radio and now um, I was using these uh, hubs here, hex hubs, uh, but I found these that I also had from uh, from this drifting car that I used to have, and it, it's thinner. So I'm using this one so I can get maybe one millimeter closer to uh, the wheel closer to the to the center so it can get a, a thinner um, overall width then just go like that of course you don't need to use this this is just something that I, I had laying around um, so you know I was lucky but you don't really need it I just push in the limits here to make it as narrow as possible make the rig as narrow as possible but it's really not needed so there we go we're ready uh, everything's working spinning still spinning moving freely uh, now I'm gonna add the, the tire let's see if I can put this in a better position so I can see better there okay. 
I'm gonna put the tire. We have the little the, the tire that we put the, the wheel that we put together. Before putting this nut, uh, I recommend screwing the the weight holders. So I'm gonna put them. The, there are several positions mm -hmm. there, but I'm just gonna put them in the middle. Gonna hang them straight. that side too much because I need to find the other one on the other side it's hard to show you guys what's going on there Just a standard a screwdriver when you're just gonna tighten up this without going too hard. It's just holding the weight hanger so we don't really need super tight things. Uh, you just need them to be straight. There it is. Okay. Now I'm gonna go all the way in. This is it. So position. Okay, this is it. Uh, here's the new tire. If you guys can see, it's barely touching the, the tire. Maybe a bit too much, but it's just enough to clear it. Wait, something's going on. Oh, okay, wait. So some of these screws went too far inside and they are touching the, the, the weight holder. To lose them just a bit, and maybe I, I, I put some some screws that were longer. I, I don't know. In, in the other wheel, I I took you know some time to choose the right screw and everything. This time I did it really quick, so maybe I made some mistakes there. There it is. So, or this thing is not uh, spinning freely because there's the motor. The whole thing, uh, mm -hmm. you know, there. There's some, you know, breaking that they this will need probably just to get things smooth. So probably I think you will put a couple packs, and I would expect this thing to get loose quite a bit. Uh, and then probably I'll, I, I'll 
be able to screw things again a bit. Oh, there, there it is. So the thing that I was telling you, so that, that's all. Uh, that's how it works. The thing I was telling you guys before is that uh, now the fact that these are so close, like this thing is incredibly long, and this is the standard link node. So look how how they they are. If I would use the standard link, so it's like the the tires are completely open. So I need to change this link uh, for a shorter one or modify this one to make it shorter. I'll need to figure that out. Um, it's hard to see you in the camera, but that's how. Uh, now they're straight. If I put the link where it's supposed to be, that's how wide <laughs> they get. So this link, the steering link is not working anymore, right? It's useless. So I need something like way shorter. That's how much I got my tires to be, the whole rig to be narrower, basically. Um, so it's going to be something like that. And then if we measure... That's all the width. Let's put them straight. So that's gonna be. I'll make it the other way so you guys can see. That's gonna be 10 inches. Wow. Maybe a bit more. 10 and a quarter inch. That's awesome. Like for R60, I was at 11 before. I was right there, so I, I reduced almost a full inch of width with this setup. Now, do you guys need this? Uh, I don't know. It depends on each person how how they go about it, and and you know the style of running. I'll, I'll need to fix this linking, uh, this link setup. Now I can turn this around and maybe hook hook it up back there. Uh, so I get more clearance here. I need to do some wiring works uh, as well, but that's minor stuff. And um, yeah, you you could do like you could don't don't use this. Um, you you might don't want not want to use these uh, uh, steering mounting parts, and you can use the standard uh, axial ones that come with the with standard stock right and then you would be fine you would need to use like standard wheels with some spacer in it it's gonna be a bit wider probably you know 11 inch or, or so so probably around here um, and you're gonna be fine you're gonna be a bit wider but you will be able to use the standard link and everything else so I mean there, that's, that's one of the good things of you know going standard but since we're talking about uh, performance and you know you want to push your rigs to the to rig your rig to the limits uh this is what i'm doing but you guys don't need to do that it's just an optional thing all right that was all folks thank you for watching i know it's a long video sorry for for the long video but you know it took some time <laughs> to do it okay Yep, working as expected. Oh, that wheel is uh, a bit... It's just a tire wheel. Now we just need to fix the string link. And we should be good.